let me show you how you can import CSV data into Paraview. CSV stands for column separated values. And of course, a CSV file is a text file by definition. And as I mentioned, it's really bad idea to store large data sets as text files. But let's just assume that you have a fairly small data set if you make a base and you want to import it into Paraview. How do you do that if you store your data in a CSV format? Well, when you open this file in Paraview, Paraview has no idea what the columns are. So you have to pass it through one of specially designed filters. And in the properties of these filters, you have to tell Paraview uh, the meaning of each column. Let me give you an example. Inside the data directory, I have a file tabulatedpoints.txt that contains 100 random points. Each line is a separate point storing x, y, z coordinates and a scalar on top of that point. So let me show you what the file looks like. The file is called tabulated points, tabulated points.txt. And as you can see, this is a CSV file. So we have X, Y, Z, and a scalar separated by commas. There are 100 points in total, so 101 with a header. Let's open this file in Paraview. So I'll go to File Open, and then in Data Directory, I find the file tabulatedpoints.txt. I load it. And as you can see, Paraview doesn't know what to do with this file. It just shows it as a table. So I'll need to pass this file through a filter called table to points. And then in the properties of the filter, I have to tell Paraview that the X column is the X coordinate, the Y column is the Y coordinate, and then the Z column is the Z coordinate. So I hit on apply. And now let me close the table. I will click on one of these predefined orientation buttons. And I don't see anything because I need to show my data set. Okay, so here we go. Now I can see it. And as you can see, the points are very small. I'm not sure if you can see them on your screen or not. Let's just place a glyph, a spherical glyph on top of each data point. So I'll set apply. And let's make these glyphs a little bit smaller. So radius is going to be 0.3. And then let's make them high resolution, 30 points in theta and 30 points in phi. Hit apply. We have nice high resolution spheres. And then let's color the spheres with the value of the scalar field. So that's the fourth column in our CSV file. And as you can see, the range is from minus one to plus one. Now let's also set the size of each data point according to the value of the scalar field. So in the properties of the glyph filter, I'm gonna say scale by scale array, and then I'm gonna choose scalar. And then if I click apply, you'll see that it works. We have different sizes, but some points are grayed out. And this makes sense because these values are actually negative. So we're asking Paraview to show spheres in such a way that the radius of each sphere is proportional to the scalar field. But then some values are negative, so these are grayed out. What you can do, you can actually introduce a new variable with a calculator filter. So let me delete the glyph filter, and then let me bring up the calculator filter, apply it to the output of table to points. And then I'm gonna have a new variable that I will call new radius. And then I'm going to set it to scalar. Actually, let me choose the scalar from, from here. So scalar. Scalar, let's say, plus 1.1. And then I'm going to say apply. And then I will bring up the glyph filter. And then the radius is going to be scaled by the new radius, this new variable. So I'm going to click apply. And of course, I have to change the glyph to sphere. So let me do a sphere. Here we go. And then let's change the radius so that the scale factor to 0.3. Okay, like that. And then let's make this again higher resolution sphere. So we have 30 points in theta and 30 points in phi. Here we go. We have nice high resolution spheres. And then let's color them with the scalar variable. So let me actually 
let me call them with new radius and then let's hide the legend and then call them with the scalar variable. So now we have a single legend showing the color, uh, the scalar variable, and then the radius is proportional to scalar plus 1.1.